note that everything that you're going to see is running at the lowest settings it can and if they aren't the lowest settings it is because there's no frame rate difference if I change them so yes I will be showing you uh, why I don't record some games why I say I can't and people just go well why don't you turn them down well here's why at the lowest settings they're like this here we have the beautiful Amnesia Machine for Pigs running at a smooth 12 frames per second. Now we're at 10. And look at those textures and we're running in the single digits. We are running 8 frames per second right now. Do you see this? That's normally how you wake up. Are you seeing this? This is this is my computer. Whoa, wait, what? Why are we One, ew, motion blur. Two, this is actually kind of running slightly okay. I don't know how it's running okay, but it is. And there we go. I honestly don't know what it is about my computer that makes everything ever run so terribly. Like we're going at four frames per second. It's just, it, I don't understand what it is. Welcome to the next game on our list, Dimension 2 HD. I actually bought this game for recording purposes. Because I was like, you know what, I should do a horror game. That isn't super horror-y, I guess. I don't know. As I'm saying this after I show you Amnesia, I bought a game because it wasn't scary-ish. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I was like, yo, we could probably play this, right? We could do this as a let's play. It's an old game, upscaled slightly to HD. This was a DS game. Remember that this was a DS game. And watch how I my computer plays it. Here's the cut scene. A cut scene. Welcome back. Do you know your name? Yeah. I honestly worry about my computer. I need a new computer. And it's really sad because this computer isn't even a year old. And it's already giving me so many problems that I want to get a new one immediately. So that's probably what I'm going to put all my money towards now, is just getting a new computer. Okay, see? It's not that bad, right? Frame rate? It's pretty good. It's 
like, okay, let's just read that. It's very icy feeling. Whoa, what happened? Oh my god, I've played this opening like seven times trying to get this game to run properly. Look at that. Look at that beautiful frame rate. This is on the lowest settings possible for this game. Like, not even if there was like one that didn't change the frame rate at all. I turned everything on this to low. It's an HD remake of a DS game. Look at this game. It's so freaking like, there's no rounded textures or anything. It's just flat objects. And my computer can't run it. Look at this shit. Yeah. This is a thing. This is an actual thing. Oh, look. Let's go to this cutscene right here and show this one. This one's even better. Look at that. Look at the speed it's going at. Five frames. That's a cutscene. A freaking cutscene. I don't know why this game decides to run poorly, but it just does. I don't get it. That's enough of this. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's see here. What could we play next? Skyrim. Well, this is Lost Planet, and I just realized that there's a DX9 version for it. Wow, this game does Okay, also remember that this game is at completely minimum, and this game came out in 2006. Came out in 2006, I have it on the lowest settings, and I'm getting 20 frames per second. Wayne, you should be able to use that VS. At least it beats walking. Ready. Initializing. So, yes, this is Lost Planet. If you've never heard of this game, it's pretty freaking awesome. The data posts hold small deposits of thermal energy, so you can refuel at that point. I'm getting out just to show you the scale of some of these things. Let's go up here. In first person. Yeah. This is like the first level after the tutorial in this game. And it's like, here, fight this thing. And killed it. Make sure to use your light in the dark. Oh yeah, look. Here's the flashlight. Man, isn't this an improvement? Down here. Whoa, okay, I didn't actually, I don't remember them actually attacking because I never bothered to let them get close. There's explosive barrels. Oh, right beside me, alright. Alright, so that's that game. And here we have Outlast. You know, everybody's favorite. Um, yeah. Another game I bought for recording purposes Let's just hit continue, shall we? Because I played through and saw if it got better, the frame rate. It didn't. But, you know, I kind of expected this game not to run very well. Yeah. Man. Look at those single digit frame rates. Woo oh, what the hell? Okay, when I look over here. Oh, 
god, the night vision is so bad on my computer. It's like, oh, let's just walk over here. Oh, look at that dead body. We're going at like six frames per second. Better turn on night vision. What the shit? I don't understand this game. What? Now we're running perfectly. What? What is going on? Yeah, this is actually running not all that bad. I like how the night vision in this game, it goes like, oh look, it's horrible, just not that high resolution of a body. Holy shit, it's real life! The night vision makes everything look so freaking real, and it freaks me out so much about this game. It's weird, and I don't like it. Ew, what is that? Oh. It's his intestines. Okay, that's enough of this game then. Um. Pro proclaim the gospel. Proclaim the goodbye. But what about games like, uh, freaking the showdown effect, Canadian? Will that run good? Well, let's see. I'm gonna go to the settings. Let's go to video. Uh, disabled, disabled. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of settings to choose from in this game, so... Let's go to the training part, okay? Check this out. Where am I? When am I? Welcome to my computer. Still. <sighs> yeah, so I can't even show you guys this game because it has an update that's freaking 500 megabytes. But yeah, Skullgirls, that game probably runs really slow as well. I can almost guarantee it. Yeah, look at that beautiful frame rate. Mm. Actually, it's running at like 30 frames per second. Man, I need to get friends on here. We need to play Cards Against Humanity or something. God dang. I'm going to just pick these all up. Alright, let's see how my computer handles physics while recording. Yeah, 10 frames per second. Woo! Now we're getting like super good frame rate. Yeah pharmacy man I'm just thinking about it all my friends on here are probably going like dude why does Canadian keep starting up random games and then quitting them in like a minute what's he even doing you can't even record videos like that god he's such a scrub that's exactly how all my friends talk here we are in Terraria this was more like a joke kind of thing but it made me realize something and it helps okay go into settings check this shit out ready video Multi-core lighting, four. See, it knows I have a quad-core processor. Now, if I could use that quad-core processor in all these other games, and not, like, just use two cores, that would be great, and all my games would run perfectly fine. But a bunch of my games don't use all four processors. So my games run like shit. It's raining shurikens. Hallelujah, it's raining shurikens. Just going for a peaceful walk. We. Oh, do not go down there. That is death. That is also death. No, it is not. Yay. I hear something jumping around in water. This is a big cave for a small map. Oh, this is a bug. Hi, little bug. I killed it. And yeah, that's enough of this already. Cool.
So, yeah, welcome to my computer. Now do you understand why I'm very selective about the things I play? And why I want a new computer. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again in the next video. See ya!